Hello folks, if like me you have recently purchased a new S24 series phone from Samsung then you may be interested to know how you can capture screenshots and also screen recordings using your new device. However, this method should work on some of the older generations of the S series phones as well. Okay, so first off let's talk about screenshots. So there are a few methods to use. The easiest method by far in my opinion is simply to use the power down, sorry, the volume down and the power button. Just tap those at the same time and that will capture your screenshot. You get a screen flash just to indicate that it has. By the way, once you have captured a screenshot, you have the optional choice to add a little bit of text to it if you prefer, or you can erase the text that you add. But as I say, that's entirely optional. The second method to capture a screenshot is simply to use the side of your hand, the side of your palm, and swipe the screen from side to side. And there's the screen capture. We can also do that from the other direction. Also really easy. And the third method of capturing a screenshot is by using the sidebar. So you can see you have this little gray bar down there. If you bring that out, that will bring up the sidebar. Tap the settings button down the bottom. Oops, I'll just do that again. And this will allow us to add the taskbar, if you guys can see that, to the sidebar. So we'll add that. We only need to do that one time. Now when we open the sidebar, we can scroll again. And that brings up the taskbar. And we can simply hit the take screenshot button. And there we go. Three easy ways to take screenshots on your phone. Next up, let's talk about screen recordings. Screen recording is also very easy. We want to start by swiping down from the top of the phone and then swiping down again. This will give us a menu of icons. The one we are looking for is here, screen recorder. If you do not see it there, try swiping across and it should either be on page one, two or three. Simply tap the screen recorder button. This will ask us how we want to record sound. We can either record no sound with our screen capture. We can record media, which means any sound that your phone is currently making or media and mic, which is your phone sound and your voice audio. So when you are ready, just hit start recording. That will give you a three second countdown. And then you also have this movable media bar as part of the screen recording app. However, this will not show on the final recording. And then you can pause the recording or hit stop when you are done. That will then save the recording in your camera roll. Now it's important to note with the screen recording feature, that you are going to be recording in the aspect ratio that your phone is situated in when you start the recording. So the recording I just made will be a vertical aspect ratio. If I wanted a horizontal recording, I would need to make sure that I am in an app that supports horizontal view. For example, the calculator app, if I turn it around, it has a horizontal function. I can then swipe down from the top once more, just as I did before, look for the screen recording, option there it is and then i can start recording this time with a horizontal orientation that will give me a full 16 by 9 recording and finally if you want to edit how the screen recording or screenshots function head over to the settings app and you want to scroll all the way down to advanced features and from here you can select the screenshots and screen recordings option and there are a number of things you can change there are some screenshots options you can change and there are some screen recordings options you can change. So screen recording will allow you to record up to a maximum of 1080p. So if you are running your phone at high resolution, then 1080p is still the highest form of capture you can get. And so finally, if we head over to the gallery, we can see we have all of our screen captures and screenshots ready to go and we can browse through those at our leisure. So hopefully this video has helped you folks out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.